MMA adhesive is a two component structural adhesive containing an MMA base and a peroxide base and through the mixing of the two components you have free radical polymerization which eventually creates a, the thin plastic film which is the adhesive. MMAs have been around for over 50 years, but over them 50 years is the development and the technologies advanced to become a more structural bond. Key markets for MMAs are the marine market, bus truck and rail market, automotive market, there's advances in wind energy markets, so there's vast, vast areas where MMAs can be used. So other than MMA adhesives are also epoxy adhesives which have been around for a lot longer than MMAs but there also is welding and mechanical fasteners. So MMA adhesives have advantages over mechanical fasteners because there will be no corrosion issues which you get with mechanical fasteners and you're not introducing a weak spot into the component. Welding is very expensive. So of our adhesive technologies, you have epoxies and polyurethanes. Epoxies are very high strength, but low elongation. Polyurethanes are low strength, but high elongation. MMAs bridge the gap between them two technologies, providing a tough and durable impact resistant bond. So one area where MMA is significantly better than using epoxies and polyurethanes is the cure time. And with MMAs being a cold temperature curing mechanism, there's no need to introduce heat to quicken up speeds. So you could range from a five minute product to a product over two hours, depending on the technology that you use. There are a number of different MMAs out there with regards to mix ratio. As they are a two component adhesive, you can have a one to one mix ratio all the way up to a ten to one mix ratio and more depending on the technology that's been developed. With regards to one to ones, they are high strength adhesives with a lower elongation compared to a ten to one adhesive which has still got high strength but will have a lot more elongation compared to a one to one. So 10 to ones would be used to bond large trucks or boats whereas a one to one would be more small components which are used inside the boats so sinks etc. MMA adhesives are capable of bonding substrates at different bond thicknesses with each manufacturer having a varied range depending on which product they choose to use. Some you range from 0.5 millimetres and can go up to 10 millimetres or more. When using MMAs there are a number of things that have to be watched to make sure that the product performs as best as it can. Temperature being one thing as all the MMAs will have a preferred temperature range. There's always a bond gap, maximum and minimum, to get that optimum bond strength for the adhesive. There are a number of yacht manufacturers within the marine industry now using MMA adhesives, compared to in the past where they would have used epoxy adhesives and pastes, and their process time is halved because of the advanced current times of the MMA. When choosing an MMA adhesive, there are a number of things that have to be thought of. Substrates, which are going to be bonded, the bond gap, the application temperatures, the service temperature, which the adhesive has to put, perform, the overall appearance of the adhesive, whether it's going to be on shore or not, and some customers do require specific certifications and test specifications met. MMAs are a very easy technology to use. You can use them in cartridge form, they can be dispensed through bulk equipment and machines and they can also be hand mixed 
and compared to an epoxy, the mix ratio is very is a lot less sensitive. And overall, you get that much tougher, more durable bond. Overall, MMAs might be a slightly more expensive technology compared to adhesive technologies like epoxies, but the benefit lies with the much quicker process time and production time for the manufacturers. So overall, the cost up front might be more expensive, but there are significant savings can be made during the process and production.